Even Superman has his kryptonite and Remco Evenepoel may have found his today, paying for relentless attacks to an older, wiser Rui Costa on site in northern Spain's Basque country in Leckenberry, where Portuguese former world champion Rui Costa took Volta España stage 15 victory over Leonard Kamna and Santiago Botrago. Remco Evenepoel headed up the best of the rest of the escapees for fourth spot. American Sepp Kuss, despite attacks on his Jumbo Visma team in the early parts of the stage, remains race leader. From Pamplona to Leckenberry, 158 kilometers, we're up in big MIG Miguel Indurain territory from the Navarra region. He won five times the Tour de France. This area he knows well. We faced a Cat 3 climb, the Lisa Raga two times up a Cat 2 climb, the Zura Rarate with the final coming at 8.5 kilometers downhill to Leckenberry. The last time we visited here was three years ago in 2020 when Marc Solaire won. And in fact, it was Marc Solaire, the mover and groover today. When you turned on your streaming, well, you would have seen Remco Evenepoel out on the attack in the white jersey, white with blue polka dots of mountain classification leader. He was attacking after yesterday's escape win, he wanted more of the Belgian champion. Well, he was out on it again, but back behind, things started to get interesting. Marc Soler, who sits three minutes and 10 seconds down, started to go on the attack, and Jumbo Visma, well, they didn't want any of it. I spoke with Sepp Kuss afterwards, the American from Durango, Colorado, and he deemed him too dangerous to let get some time. So is Jonas Vingago, two-time Tour de France champion, chasing him down. Then Primoz Rolich, who sits second overall, and then Sepp Kuss, and things really started to get strung out around about 90 to 85 kilometers to go. And tension, anxiety, we had it all for a while there until things settled down and an escape formed up front. And back behind, it was Jumbo Visma and Team Bora Hansgrohe who was trying to settle down the pace, importantly for Bora Hansgrohe, because in and all those accelerations and attacks, it was Kian Utebrooks, the unpronounceables were calling, who was distanced a little bit. He has suffering from saddle sores, and so it was important for the escape to get formed, for the pace to ease up, for him to get back on to the group, and for the riders and the rest of the field to have a little bit of a breather. And finally, is Remco Evenepoel and the riders up front who had their shot for a stage win. And in that group, we had some important names, Remco Evenepoel, Butrago, Kamna, of course, and Andreas Kroon, winner of stage two of this year's Vuelta España, 15 riders going free. Remco Evenepoel added more points to his points competition jersey, leading over the Lisa Raga climb. They had a gap of around 30 minutes or so with 60 kilometers to go. Butrago, the best placed rider in the GC in that group. And back behind, it was Alpacin de Kunic doing the work despite having Jimmy Hansen up in the front. Alpacin de Kunic thought maybe it could come back down to a sprint and Caden Groves, winner of two stages already in this Vuelta España, would have a shot for stage victory. Eventually they eased up. It wasn't going to be a day for them. Up front, the battle is being played out for the stage victory. Before we could get to that, unfortunately, we saw these images of Garrett Thomas, former Tour de France winner, Ineos Grenadiers, GC leader here, who's now no longer in the fight for the GC, and clearly not after today because he was scratched, scraped, jersey short ripped all on his left side he seemed to have crashed but we didn't see have images of the crash but we saw the aftermath with him garrett thomas with a welshman back on his bike and struggling to continue and we haven't had any news of what happened but we're hoping for the best of luck for garrett thomas up front 14 kilometers to go around about 5.5 kilometers to race up that final climb jimmy hansen he went on the attack then he was followed by Butrago and Costa, those two attacked. Then it was Leonard Kamna, already a stage winner in this Vuelta España, who shot free. The duo of Costa and Butrago joined them before the top. Butrago, I think it was, took the maximum points at the top. That trio had around about 25, 23 seconds at the top, and they started the descent. Leonard Kamna was off on his own, 8.5 kilometers to race. We see Leonard Kamna overshoot a corner, and we spoke with Leonard Kamna here at the finish line. Had grass, and he was bleeding on the side of his knee, I think it was. Grass on his face, grass on his arm. He crashed, got back up on his bike, but was still able to remain the leader on the road with Petraga and Costa closing in behind. They caught him with around one kilometer to go, and it was a sprint towards the finish line. Kamna let it out, 
Buck Costa came around him, the KG right around 35, 36 years old, world champion at the 2013 World Championships in Florence, Italy. He used his knowledge, his years of experience to fool the two. When he and Butrago was away together, he was doing very little work. And then when they caught the two, he forced Camna to do the lead out and the Intermarche Portuguese rider pulled off stage victory. Remco Evenepoel, well he was distanced with about two kilometers to go to the top of that climb. He did get back on to those chasers and in fact it was him that was leading the chase of the trio front four stage victory but they were unable to get on and Remco Evenepoel had to settle for fourth place today and we talked about kryptonite and I spoke with Remco Evenepoel in the mix zone afterwards and I said hey Remco even Superman has his kryptonite maybe you found yours in this Vuelta España and he looked to his press officer he looked to me he said kryptonite he didn't even know what kryptonite is so I had to explain it we're gonna have to show him a photo tomorrow but Remco Evenepoel perhaps uses too much energy in yesterday's stage victory to try to go out on an escape and try to win again. But this is Remco Evenepoel, former road race world champion, current time trial world, world champion. who's was here at the Vuelta España to try to get overall victory to back up his 2022 Vuelta España victory. But he can't do it this year. He lost 27 minutes on the Tourmalet stage two days ago. Yesterday's stage victory. Today, perhaps overreaching, going for too much, too much glory for Remco Evenepoel. Rest day tomorrow, but the tension and anxiety remain high with the brutal final third week on tap. It's Jumbo Visma's race to lose with its stranglehold on the podium in the top three spots. But today, a brief reprieve with the escape getting its chance and Rui Costa victorious stage 15 of Vuelta España.